Hey, yo together and very welcome to the Stuck of Two Crazy Replays. I haven't casted a game for a long, long time, so please excuse me uh, for uh, if I if I do bad here today. But I will try my best. I do have, I think, three to four crazy replays, which will come up the next two weeks, and then I will, after the casting, play some more unranked, so I can fill. Uh, the last week as well. Okay, with that said, let's begin. We have on Belshir Vestige, or Vestige, in the red as the Terran in the bottom right hand side. It is Peru Kuril. And he's playing, of course, against me, the blue Terran in the top left hand side, Alex Usher. And I can't really remember what exactly happened in this game, but either it was funny or it was uh, how how what's this word called? Uh, not exciting. Maybe exciting as well, but not that. That's not what I mean. I, I mean I mean uh, it's I would say teachful, but that's not a word, right? So, but but you you get what I want to say. I think it's. You can get a lot out of this game, either. So either way, it's funny, strange, or it's a good lesson. So that's that's what I need. And it looks like Ferrucuril is going for gas first. I'm not quite sure about this, but I think it's gas first with a very early second refinery. Not super early, but still quite early. It's before the factory, and he's going for one reaper. So it might be the case. That he is sticking on on one base for quite some time. So the Reaper finishes. Will he go? There's the factory. And interesting, you, you see, because of my opening, my factory is earlier, but I also do have a command center earlier. As well as, okay, not the reactor as I'm getting a second Reaper. Uh oh, that's looking bad. I need to be very careful here with the Reaper. Oh no, that's not good. Ooh, that was a very bad move. I might just lose the Reaper 1 HP. Can I go away? Can I escape? It's so close. Regenerate. Ah! Ah, not quite enough. And that hurts a lot. That is indeed very bad. Now I'm going for my Cyclone. But will it be enough? That's the big question here. His Reaper is coming up. Should get away without any trouble. Yep, there he goes. Bye bye. And he's going for a starport behind that. So his starport is now earlier than mine. But I do have a orbital command ready when his command center finishes up. So I am a little bit ahead in economy. A little bit behind in army. But if he pushes this will be fine. So that that's in the current meta, I would always, unless you want to play a real all-in, always go for a Reaper expand or something like that. Because by the, by the time his push hits you, you will have at the front the same amount of unit army supply waste than he has. Even if his army supply is bigger, he has a longer rush distance and thus it will take longer for him to get here with all his army. So by the time he reaches you, your base, if you have solid macro, you will have the same amount here, but better macro behind, better production. Oh, it's so close with the Cyclone. Okay, Cyclones have been traded, but he loses the Reaper as well. Let's see the unit last time. Looking better for me, and now I'm ahead 5 SUVs as well. And I'm ahead in army, you see? This is what I meant. I, I had enough to defend. I am ahead. You see it especially here in the income tab. 500 per minute more minerals, which is huge. So I do have better income, better army now. Uh, the tech is the same, basically. So that that's... Oh! Cyclone drop. Okay, not that. Not that at all. So yeah, that's, that's that. Cyclone drop. Could potentially deal a lot of damage, but I saw it. I saw the medevac, so I should be able to defend this with ease. 
Yeah, and he doesn't really try. He shouldn't drop it, he could try it, but the Raven Auditory deals so much damage so fast. And here's a tank, he could try to drop right here. Oh, that's exactly what he do, what he's doing, and... Oh, massive damage, the tank will... Get saved! <laughs> uh, some panic out the turret, but still it's fine. And behind that, he's muckering up quite nicely. He still has five uh, SUVs behind. But he has three Rex production on the way now, where I, I am on two Rex only. So what's what's the army? Two tanks against one. Here's a medevac, I have two Vikings. I am ahead in Marines. And I have a Raven. So overall, I would say I'm better set up. But he's getting upgrades now. This is really helpful for him. He's not supply cap, should get another supply depot anytime soon. Where is it? Because with that he can't he can't produce. Uh, I think a tank costs three supply. Not two, but three. He can't look it up right now, but I think that's the case. And did he supply drop? He had to, yeah he did. So now he's getting more supply depots. And I'm moving out, uh, out at this, as, as it looks like, with tanks and marines and such. Potentially I can deal a lot of damage, but he'll have stim before I got stim. And it will be half a minute left for me to complete the stim research. I got a nice wall, not sure if it's good to have this in TVT, but if you're playing against mech, potentially that's a good idea. Although this wall is quite odd, to be honest. But it's okay, his, his third command center is way earlier than mine, so this push needs to deal a lot of damage. And uh oh, it's looking like he's scouting this. He should at least see something, and now he sees it. Yeah, he sees the army moving across the map. He doesn't see all of it, but he knows it's coming. And oh, aggressively stepping forward, trying to deal... Uh, to kill them, uh, to kill the Raven, the damage which he did, and slowing this push down as much as possible. He needs Vikings, good scan, so this is buying him more time. Counter scan from me, still muckering behind this, and now I'm putting pressure onto him. I'm 10 SCVs ahead. Army is equal in army supply. Mm. Oh, that tank! Oh, can I get it? Maybe. There comes the Raven, and the big step forward kills the Raven, auto -tool, not very helpful, kills two Vikings and the tank as well, and all my Marines die here, this is so bad, even landing the Vikings in order to try to kill those tanks, which is not happening at all, and this push is over. Uh, yeah, this push is definitely over. <laughs> cute, that one Marine. But as you can see, now it's looking better for him, he traded gas-wise gas really well, uh, Marine, uh, uh, Mineral wise it's looking even, he might get more viking kills here, oh that's bad, the rally, the really bad rally, can the viking escape, yes, close but it can, but still that was, that was okay, in the meantime he should have maybe taken a base, and uh, morphed this to an orbital command, uh, and get the regs, but he was busy defending, at least he's getting 2-2, two -two, but I'm just finishing 1-1, one -one, so he's slightly ahead, my armory should be in time. I'm getting up to five racks now here as well. So this is this is fine for the time being. It's even. I got better economy potentially, although currently it's looking quite even. I should mule a little bit. Look at that. That's that's bad. But with the legacy of the white economy, it's it's difficult because normally, <laughs> in a perfect world, you should be on four bases by now. Uh, the main is almost run out. Look at that, five minerals, five, 400. That, that's nothing left, basically, not much. So I would need another command center right here, right now, planetary, which I don't have. So dropping a mule hammer here is fine, but will also just lead into uh, depleting those mineral patches faster. I got two tanks here in the bunker. This is very difficult to break. Although I have to say, this bunker is not really nicely placed. Uh, here would be better, I guess. Because look at all those uh, SCVs here, shaking around. I do like the idea of the sensor turret. And he's getting one himself. Nice turret ring, although he is a slight opening where I could drop. Mm, so he, he needs to tighten this a little bit, I think. Or stretch it? Stretch it or tighten it? 
So I think it depends on the way you look at it. This center turret is really well placed, covering a lot of this ground space. I could drop here or here potentially, but for the time being it's looking quite good for him. Army wise he's ahead, uh, research wise he's really ahead, so my 2-2 is way far behind his. And he's getting this watchtower, why are there so many marines, I don't know. But it's okay, I got this one with a medivac. Very nice. And now all we need to do is basically, I would say, go up, macro, 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 just do it and then that's fine. But we will see what's going on here. We definitely will see. Uh, double drop is coming this way. Ah, uh, that's what I meant. This tool is very important. Now it's looking better. Even saving this SCV. Uh, he's getting a supply depot and some more. I don't know about this location because you block your potential 5th base. But overall I like the idea of using supply depots for vision. As I mentioned in my in my guide uh, where I talked about vision. My macro is now looking quite good. I have lots of army and SVs more than he got. Very bad English, sorry. English. Mm, I'm going up with my on auto turret. No, not auto turret. Missile turret ring. Which still has some flaws in it, but it's okay. And yeah, those those Medivax are just waiting for a good time. He's moving out. I'm not seeing this currently. I have no clue. I'm capped at 189 and 189. That's not good. But this drop is ready. I have something to to punch back when he wants to hit me. Ooh, he wanted to drop there carefully. I don't think I saw this Medivac. I, it was visible on the minimap, but I didn't see it uh, with my eyes. I didn't catch it. So scans are going down. He scans my army. Okay. I scan now. Ah, there's his army pulling back. Wise decision not to go into this siege tank line. Viking wise, it's two to one. There are the drops coming. Potential fourth base on the way. Do I see it? Uh, not really. And there we go. And I'm dropping in. Can I get this drop? Work. Ah, uh, yeah. And that's looking good now. He doesn't have much back at home. He's rallying everything across the map. If I can deny 3-3 that would be huge and currently it looks like I can. He needs to pull back or, or commit but he can't go into this. Six siege tanks? That's not gonna work. Very carefully but he lost all his upgrade facilities. Armory went down, eBay went down. That's not looking too good. However he's going and kill all of my marines so he can drop on top of my tank soon. In the meantime losing potentially the orbital command if he's not being careful. But this is a stalemate where I win the longer this goes on. I do have still one medevac left. He doesn't have enough to defend 2-2 against 2-2. It's looking really good for me. He tries to go for a counterattack for flank. Uh, tries to tighten my defense and force me to go for the fourth base or third base. But as I said, two tanks, one, one bunker. And I'm still on top of his production. He goes in and that's checkmate. GG. Um... This, this is how you can win. With a simple 2 medivac drop, I won this game. Uh, normally you want to have... You, you want to, to... To... To collect your army. Uh, in TVT at least. For so long as it is a strong army which can... Or a troop which can move on its own. But also turn back if you need to. Like with enough medivacs as support too lift and retreat but also have this army collected here or stored in cases like this that you can uh, react to a drop coming into your mineral line into your base and be on top of the production that that's how you can kill Terran Protoss as well with Zerg it's more difficult because there you need to snipe the key buildings like the spawning pool, bailing nest, roach warren etc but in TVT or a against Terran, if you are on top of his production and he doesn't have an army left which is strong enough to deal with your drop, 
then it's game. It's checkmate. Because everything which, which goes out of, of the racks dies immediately and that's game. And here I don't think he could have potentially break this. Uh, there were two tanks left here, a couple of marines, 16, 18, 20. And he can't drop on top of here. Viking wise, I am behind, so slowly but surely he could have pushed. But in the meantime he would have lost everything here. So Sometimes it's good to have just one tank and four marines here to buy yourself time. I mean he had the he had the watchtower but he didn't have units at home to defend. Okay guys, that's it with this episode. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. As always, I wish you a very nice day and goodbye. Hey oh there, thank you for watching. If you'd like to support me, simply hit the thumbs up button. Do you have any wishes, feedback or suggestions? Put them into the comments below. You may also subscribe if you're new to the channel. I wish you a wonderful and stress-free day. Take care.